Hi everyone and welcome to Smith's Crafty Creations. Thanks for popping on today. So today is a simple, no it's not. Yes it is, it's a simple stamping episode. Oh, oh I need to get my um, words out right. And today <clears throat> I want to use the beautiful promenade stamp set. Now, I already have a, a card base cut, okay, in the Whisper White, so I need to cut a stamping layer now. And it is just going to be um, simple stamping on white, um, because I feel for this card, the white just makes the card pop. It's a good contrast. Now, if I cut that down to four, because I'll get some other um, layers out of that. But I need this to be... Um, five and three eighths by three and three quarters this size okay so I'll show you in a wee second so we'll have the card base here and we'll have this on the top so lovely jovely so I'll put that out the road now this is the third time I've tried to make this card because it just hasn't went very well at all so third time lucky um, I did have fun making the mistakes I must admit but um, yeah I got frustrated towards the end so like I say I'm using beautiful promenades I've decided to use um, let me move that out of the way I'll turn that light off actually um, seaside Spray, which is a new in colour, um, Rococo Rose, which is a new in colour, and the Pure Pizzazz, which is um, one of the Sittles, I think it is. So, let's get started. Now, I want to use the blue first. That's not the blue, that's the green, Trisha. Jeez, oh. Oh, see what I mean? I had a good day today as well, but I'm just getting a bit muddled. Now, I've already got everything all prepped here in terms of my stamps. I just need to quickly grab my cloth. There we go. Right, so we're going to stamp. This is the, um, although it's simple stamping, it is incorporating a two-step stamp, okay? Um, and then we're going to add a little pizzazz at the end, but I'll explain later. So this is the first stamp, okay? So I want to ink that up in the seaside spray. Like so. Okay, and I want to pop that down here. Gorgeous. I also want to pop one uh, down here. Just coming off the card. And the same again in this corner. So we have one, two, three images, all right? I'll just clean that a little bit then I will clean it properly later. <clears throat> the next bit I want to do is using the leaf image, <clears throat> the leaf stamp. And this is um, a finer print. Um, it's a th finer line. So I just want to pop some of that out from the floral images. Uh, some of them will come off of the paper, of course, which is what I want. This one goes here. And basically just want to make this look as natural as possible. So let's get a couple little half images on there. Okay, now it's still a little blank bit here. So let me add on another little bit. And one final bit over here. Perfect. So, let me turn this over. So there is our um, first layer of stamping. Okay, now I'm going back to this image here. And I want the Rococo Rose. Now these two colours go beautifully. Alright. So, I'm finished with the Seaside Spray. So let me pop that away. Um, and what am I doing? What was I doing? The second part, yeah. So, Rococo Rose. And I'm not going to stamp off because I want this um, 
to be quite vibrant. So, there we go. How gorgeous is that? So, wait, wait a second, because I'll get my scrappy bit over again. So this one goes here. And you're just lining it up, basically, and popping it on the top. Beautiful. And then the final one goes on here. Super. There we go. Look how fabulous those colours complement each other. Right, and if I quickly clean that and pop it away, because that's just done with a big floral image anyway. And if I can find my stamp set. And you know how important it is to just pop these away before they stick to something they shouldn't be stick to. <laughs> oh, dear, dear, dear. Right, now, what I'm going to do is, um, we're finished with the Rococo Rose as well. We're going on to the Pear Pizzazz. All right, so what I'm going to do with the Pear Pizzazz is I'm going to stamp the sentiments, um, which says... You're my everything, but even the strong need a shoulder to lean on. I'm here for you. Okay, so <clears throat> let's do this and hope that I do not do it squint. So if I just zoom in a little bit, reposition my card. And I'm just going to pop it here. And it says, you're stronger than most. So that's that one done. Because even strong people need a little helping hand or a little pick-me-up, you know. Um, here's the other stamp. Um, and this set, this really is one of my most favourite stamp sets to date. Now, if you follow me, you'll see that I go through stages of using stamp sets and then I move on very quickly because, not because there's anything wrong. Hang on to a stamp this. Not because there's anything actually wrong with the stamps. It's just, I get bored very, very, very easily. And once I've tried something, I want to move on to the next thing. So, when Stampin' Up! brings out different catalogues and whatnot, I actually like that because I would be bored um, if it was just one catalogue item. Uh, one catalogue range all year, I would be really, really bored. So I'm kind of glad uh, that's not the case. Now, I am going to add just a little pop of colour with um, the pear pizzazz. Now, I'm not sure if I want to stamp off first, just to keep it a little bit subtle. Um, yeah, I think I'll stamp off first. So, stamp off, I'm going to pop one right there, just to give it a little bit of contrast. It doesn't matter that they're overlapping. I'll we'll put one here. And it just breaks the card up a little bit. And we're going to put one down here. And maybe a little bit there. I think that is beautiful. What do you think? You agree? Yep. Good. Hope so. If you do like it, please remember, um, if you don't mind, give me a little thumbs up really appreciate all the feedback that you give me on my channel so thank you um, and if you know anybody else that would be interested in um, subscribing please let them know or share my page um, right now what I want to do now is something a little different I am basically going to punch out a circle area of this card which is this gorgeous little um let me see now I want to make sure it's equal I'm basically going to pop that out like so and this is the little step up bit that we're doing so you can do this two ways you could raise the outside and have this one flat like so but I'm going to stick to an easier way. You, oops, it's easy. Now, you don't have to do this with your card. Let me zoom out a bit. Um, you can just put it on flat, but I just wanted something a little different for you today. 
So we're going to pop that on. Remember it's two eighths of an inch border on this card. Wow, isn't that gorgeous? And this little bad boy, we're going to raise up with some dimensionals. So, the, the question is, where is my dimensionals? Um, they'll be in my adhesives box, possibly. Yep. Let's do I've got other ones somewhere. I don't know where they are. Yep, here they are. So, let's load this up. And you could use the side ones as well if you want to get rid of them. They're all the same in height, so it doesn't matter as long as they're sticking. Right. There we go. Now, tricky bit is lining this up. So what you could do is you could... Um, I will make that. You could match one end up and then just simply... attached like so. So it looks like the same card but it has a little raised area and it's just something a little different to step up your simple stamping. So if you do like this please give me a, 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 the video a, a thumbs up, um, share, leave me a little comment and um, I also share this over on my Facebook page and my blog smithscraftcreations.com. So um, yeah thank you so much for tuning in and here is a little close-up of the card we've made today. Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you guys soon.